So where are you making your decisions? Fight or flight down in your reptile mind, according to triune brain theory? Are you making your decisions with your emotions, with your monkey mind? That's the mammalian brain. It's the seat of emotions. Or are you making your decisions with the neocortex, your reasoning mind? It's just a question, but I think it's an important question. And I think that helps us determine who we're going to be based on where we're making our decisions. If we're always making it down in the reptile mind, we're going to stay in fight or flight. We're going to stay in the survival mode. That's what that brain is designed to do, keep you alive. If we're making our decisions just with emotions, then I'm going to submit that there are those who have learned that they can manipulate us through our emotions into making decisions that might not be in our best interest. I almost got scammed. I think I'm smart. I think I'm smart. And I almost got scammed on Facebook yesterday because somebody had uh, stolen a friend's ID and said they had a car for sale. I sent her 250 bucks as a deposit. What's? Why are you sending me 250 bucks? Huh? Why are you sending me 250 bucks for the deposit on the car? What car? Oh. You still talking to my old Facebook profile? You about got scammed. Here's your money back. Oh, uh, whew. That 250 would have been an expensive lesson. So, where do you direct your conscious energy? What are you aware of? You got a law of expectation. Who are you going to be? What do you want to be? Have you defined that? Define it and write it down and then focus on that and let that be who you gravitate into in a year or two years or five years. Remember, remember, remember a couple of things. Please, please, please. Gratitude is the grease. When you go to bed at night, write down three things you're grateful for. When you wake up in the morning, review those and have appreciation for them because you know they're there. You experienced it the night before in your mind, and when you wake up in the morning, have that appreciation because you know that your, your, your wish is not a wish, but your wish has been granted. Appreciate that. Visualize it. Visualize it with emotions. All of the different senses that you can experience when you put yourself, like say you want a house on the beach. Great. Imagine yourself standing on the front porch in the morning. You open the door. You smell the sea spray. And then boom, there's uh, somebody cutting the lawn so you smell the freshly cut grass. You feel the wind on your face. Ooh, the sunlight too. You experience emotion because you can hear the roar of the ocean and it just settles your spirit. You love the ocean. You love that feeling. Do that three times a day. See what happens. Visualize it. Feelization. Always remember gratitude is the grease. Be grateful for the bounty which is your birthright. I love you. Hang in there, guys. We'll talk soon.